everybody, uh, this is the final video in the My Cancer Journey series. Um, the month is September 2020. Um, I suppose uh, this journey started a year ago in um, June, uh, June, July 2019, when I, I found the lump for the first time. Um, so a year, a little bit more than a year has gone by. Um, and what a year it's been with um, the added challenges of COVID um, to deal with. Um, but this takes us all the way around um, and we're now at the final um, appointment, if you like, uh, that was to really double check that the chemotherapy and the radiotherapy had been successful. Um, and as you can see, um, my hair has grown unbelievably fast. Uh, I think the cold cap um, has been, you know, truly valuable and really useful. And although, you know, very much towards the end of the chemotherapy, I had many, many bold spots, um, the regrowth ha happened so quickly. I had my hair coloured um, about, um, about three weeks ago. Um, probably a little bit premature because the hairdresser said that she would have preferred to have waited for six months post-chemo and it was five months post-chemo. Um, but as you can see, I've had it bleached and it hasn't fallen out um, and it is really very thick. Um, so uh, it, it is amazing. I, I can't quite believe um, that, uh, you know, that I have got such a full head of hair. Also, um, I'm now four months in with the tamoxifen um, and uh, that has brought with it some challenges. You know, as you probably can tell now, I'm getting a little bit warm, so I'm still suffering with the hot flushes. And also with the uh, joint um, aches and pains, um, I do find that when I stay true to my um, healthy diet, when I'm staying true to being vegan and I'm not drinking um, and I'm staying away from sugar, I get fewer hot flushes. Um, I've just had my birthday and I went away for the weekend and decided I was just going to throw it all out the window and have a good time and drink and eat whatever I wanted. Um, and I have paid for it since. So I've really been suffering with not sleeping very well because I've been having these really awful hot flushes and the weather is warm so that's not helping but I have found that if I veer off um, my diet I've got to expect that I'm going to have a few um, side effects or it's going to be a little bit worse but generally I haven't it's not been terrible I, I do um, think that the diet's helped and the exercise has helped um, but um, it, it is still getting used to um, a, a new way of, uh, of living really um, and a few things that I've had to alter um, as a result of, of those side effects. Um, so the um, COVID really kind of, you know, has cocked up the mam mammogram appointment as well. I had a phone call, it's all been very, you know, I had to go in on my own. I was extremely nervous. Um, and apprehensive about it um, but David my husband couldn't come in with me had to stay in the car in the car park um, and going into the hospital uh, I was greeted by the radiographer um, who was the receptionist and who, who did everything thankfully because she was qualified as a radiographer she could give me the results there and then I may have had a doctor which would have meant I'd have had to have wait, waited for my results. So it was just, it was really great actually to be able to get that information um, there and then. Um, it was very painful, I've got to say. Um, you know, it is generally all most of the time anyway. Um, but what I found is where the um, radiotherapy has um, done its job, what it's done is it's thickened the... Um, the skin underneath uh, where the, the surgery was. So it's more or less made it really tough and it's kind of quite a big um, lump there now. So it's, it really has, 
it's not altered wholly, you know, the look of the breast, but it's certainly made it feel differently. Um, and uh, so that part is quite tender as well. So it was, it was very painful <laughs> being put into that machine. Um, but only seconds, of course. And of course, also because of the lymph nodes have come out under here, I'm still struggling with a little bit of uh, mobility issues. I think it's because I've kind of, over the summer, have slowed down on my yoga, uh, which I'm going to start picking up again now. But um, that also created a little bit of discomfort because you've got to put your arm up here and you've got to sort of put yourself in a very strange position. Um, but thankfully the results were given to me immediately um, and I, while I waited for her to give me those results, I did sit there and think, if this is, if this is bad news, if this, if it hasn't gone, and that has been a big concern because the chemo stopped midway through, radiotherapy was only five days instead of 15 days, um, I, I was very concerned that, you know, hadn't done its job. Um, and I was sitting there thinking, you know, here we go again. It might be another year of, of hell. Um, but I think one thing I've learned is that, you know, staying, you know, having a purpose, having something to um, keep you busy, uh, whatever that might be, has really, really helped. So mine has been um, my work and uh, studying and retraining has really kept me very busy and has taken away the worry really right up until I went into the mammogram appointment and that's when I started to think about it. So I've had the all clear, I've had the, you know, there is nothing there in either um, breast. Um, of course it is now annually that I will have a mammogram um, but it has been uh, good news and uh, lots of celebrating over the weekend that has just gone. Um, so I'm hoping this has, you know, if you're sitting there and you've watched all the videos from start to finish and you are yet to go through the whole of your treatment, I hope this is giving you some hope and um, comfort that there are plenty of things that you can do to make yourself feel better. Um, if you do have any questions or any uh, feedback, then please put it in the comments um, underneath this. so that on this YouTube channel there is another playlist which is talking about Purple Hat which is my business journey through change and it is basically taking all the learnings that I've had from this last 12 months and applying it to other uh, moments in your life where you are faced with a big change. It could be that you are um, changing jobs. It could be that your children are leaving home. It could be you are facing the menopause or a uh, diagnosis uh, or a health scare um, or maybe a divorce, but it will all applies to um, you know the same process that you go through um, dealing with uh, disruptive change. So what you'll find is um, some tips and some advice about how we naturally go through um, these types of changes and what to look out for and then how you can um, take all those learnings and come out of that change in a much more positive, um, resourceful state, um, ready to maybe reinvent yourself. And of course, you can always get in touch with me for some coaching. Uh, which is, is what I'm um, qualified to do and what I will continue to do going forward. So take a look at the website www.purplehatcoaching.co.uk or the Facebook page, which is, there's a link on this uh, site. Uh, take a look at the Instagram or the Twitter. Anyway, I hope you found this, uh, this playlist and this uh, chapter useful um, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again in other playlists. Thanks a lot.